even just in my everyday, um, I'm seeing situations differently. So I had an alumni call me and was upset about a situation and she even called me rude. And it took me off guard and because I know I'm not a rude person. So I, I knew that something was going on. And so then I just said, you know, I reflected back to her, her situation. It sounds like, you know, you felt hurt or you felt isolated when you got this email from me. Um, and I would never want you to feel that way. I would only want you to feel loved when you get an email from me. So how did that make you feel when you got the email from me? And she was like, yeah, to be honest, I just found out this day that my house is going to have to take a lot of work. And so she's like, and I'm really scared and I'm dealing with a lot with her house. And so I was able to kind of bring that to the, okay, well, you know, because of your house situation, you're feeling isolated and scared. And then you get an email from me the same day. And it didn't it really set off some emotions that you didn't feel loved and you felt scared. And she was like, yeah, exactly. Thank you for saying that. And I'm like, well, we're here for you. I would never, you know, our family's here for you. So I was just able to like walk her through the process, which before I would have never done that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just neat to kind of apply it in everyday situations and um, practical strategies for how to be emotionally intelligent. I think we all spend a lot of time learning what emotional intelligence is. And we learn about the five different components of emotional intelligence, but we don't know how to actually be emotionally intelligent in the workplace. So we have a practical, practical strategies that you can apply today to be emotionally intelligent. Because people have to bring their whole self to work. They have to bring um, every part of themselves to work. And emotions is a huge part of, of the human life. And so if, if, if work, if employees are um, not talking about what's going on in their life and the emotions that they feel, um, they're not going to be able to thrive in the workplace because they're going to be shutting off a part of themselves and it becomes a barrier for them. And the bottom line is, uh, the ROI, I guess, for an employer is creativity and people being able to thrive and come up with good ideas and feel like they have a sense of belonging. So if they, um, if we are bringing emotions into the workplace, they will feel like they belong and they feel like they can bring their entire self to work. And that's where they bring their best self to work.